I'm very lucky that I get to see some of the best new golf clubs of 2024, the best forgiving golf clubs of 2024, some of the best golf clubs for beginners, for mid-handicap golfers, and of course, the best golf clubs for low handicap golfers. Today, I have a brand new offering from PXG, and I think this could cover all bases. Guys, today we're gonna to try and make golf easy, and it is, of course, the brand new PXG Allen Putter. Now, PXG have a saying that we are here for a good time, not a long time, and this is named after Mr. Bob Parsons' brother, Alan, and that was a quote that he lived by. So what we're trying to do is make golf a little bit more enjoyable for yourself. Now, I was lucky enough to head out to Scottsdale, get fitted for this putter and test it in the lab and see just how it performs against some other zero torque putters, the lab putter, for example, and it actually performs incredibly well. So if you struggle with your putting and you're looking for a golf club to potentially help transform your game, help lower those scores, this could be the one for you. I'll be the first one to say it's very strange looking. You'll see we have that S hosel there. So that's designed so the shaft goes straight into the center of the putter there, and that's what helps this club face stay square to your natural arc. And I can say that with confidence, your arc, my arc, Bobby's arc, and John's arc, who's getting the coffees in because it's very, very early this morning, isn't it, Bobby? But essentially what we're trying to do here, you'll see that I've been fitted for this a little bit longer. This is 36 inches. I'm a huge fan of these standard PXG grips. and I'm a big fan of the blacked out shaft, even though it features a little bit of a kind of multi-composite design there. So a very, very kind of stroke lab-esque, I would say. I'm gonna move the ball slightly forward because the hosel sits back. All I'm gonna do here is allow the putter just to swing through naturally. Now, I'm not necessarily thinking about my stroke at all here, and this is what could potentially help me with my game. If you haven't got the time to work on your putting, you don't have the time or the money to invest in lessons, or you just don't wanna practice. Looking at you, Bobby. No, I'm looking at you. This could be the putter for you because generally, that club returns square pretty much every time. So if you start to get the pace right, which I'm gonna work on doing in this video, you should be able to hold a lot more putts and of course, three putt ever so slightly less. That's the name of the game when it comes to putting. If you can lower your scores, you can three putt less, you can get the ball closer to the hole. Generally, that's gonna help you lower that handicap and beat all your friends. Now you'll see that this actually features a hollow body design. That's designed to give you the feel of an insert, but the performance of a milled face. Vice versa, it's the other way around. You're supposed to have the feel of a milled face, but the performance of an insert. I knew I'd get something wrong, Bobby, but we'll go with it. Also, so say if you're playing golf with one of your best friends and you're having a really casual social game, if you're playing match play and he goes, oh, something that Bobby never does, pick it up. How's that? How's that big fan of that? Get it in the middle, you'll do it first time, but you can see the ball fits in there nicely. We also have two weights in the front here. Those can be fitted two different weights, so you can get those changed depending on the kind of greens you play or even what your rhythm's like in your stroke. Now, I must admit, I usually use a kind of standard blade style putter. I'm a fan of a, a traditional style putter, and I tried the lab putters. I just couldn't really get on with them. There was something about them. I know you're a big fan of them, Bobby, aren't you, the lab putters? You like the feel of them. I personally don't. I think what PXG have managed to do here by getting that excellent feel together with that kind of zero torque technology is a huge win for the brand and a huge win for golfers all around the world who really do want that technology, but don't want to give up on potentially the feel element of what you're trying to do here. So this isn't an easy put, this is quite a swinger left to right. And if I get that centered up nicely, it really starts to just kind of square that club face up nicely and potentially could help you lower those scores. So whilst in Scottsdale, I got to go in the lab and check out the design of this putter, check out just how it was being made and check out how they were quantifying the results. And they designed a device called the Zero Torque Spotter. That was a device that goes on the grip of the putter and it basically means that the club just moves willy-nilly, a very scientific term, around the putter. So if you have any other putter that doesn't have that kind of zero torque, then generally the club face just moves around. You have to kind of whip it round. I'll put some image, images of that on screen now for you. But generally, if you put that on this putter, the putter maintains its square face and all you have to do is move the putter backwards and forwards. Tell you what, how hard is that put? Do the wind gust then? All you have to do is then move the putter backwards and forwards for your distance control. And generally what that's doing is allowing you, go on, those lines are perfect, aren't they? It's allowing you to get the perfect line. So if you've got the read and the speed, generally you're gonna be absolutely, I've picked the world's hardest putt to show you this. 
you're going to be absolutely perfect when it comes to your put. Come on, this time. Yes. So one of the big things that I think makes this putter so usable for people is yes, it's jam packed full of technology with that S bend. And yes, it has that hollow body design. It has the weighting. It has that kind of multi-component shaft, but it feels so soft that you wouldn't really know that it looks like it should come with FM radio to quote Tiger Woods 2007 or whatever game that was. So on these very difficult puts, you'll see the, the greens pretty much sloped this way. There's quite difficult puts that we've got here. So all I'm thinking is aim at the right point, get the right stroke length. We're not worrying about club face and just allow those puts to do what we're trying to do. So yes, it's gonna help us with kind of shorter puts, longer puts as we've seen already. But generally I think these are the ones that really just help you keep your round together, keep yourself scoring, keep that scorecard ticking over. And I feel like we're kind of shelling peas a little bit now, which is obviously positive. Oh, we're, we're smashing the back of the hole out, Bobby. And on that note, I've almost become a little bit too lax with that, hasn't I, haven't I? Does it make it too easy? Get in the comments below and let me know. So I must admit, the more I test this putter, the more I quite like it. And Bobby's just said as well, the more he gets used to the look of it, the more you can kind of see yourself using it. So we've hit some pretty difficult putts, we've hit some big left to righters, some swinging right to lefters. Now we've got a pretty flat putt, it's just right edge. And we'll go through the routine and just really kind of see how easy and simple it potentially makes it. You can hear the wind blustering this morning as well, which again makes putting that a little bit more difficult. But honestly, I feel like there could be something in this to make golf that little bit easier for everybody. So I'm not worried about the club face. All I need to do is make sure that I hit it. And you can see we're gonna start hitting the hole a lot more often. And that generally can help us, again, like I said, just make golf a little bit easier. The strap note for this is of course, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. And that might pull on your heartstrings a little bit. It does for me, obviously losing my dad. This is named after Bob Parsons' brother. I'm sure they had a fantastic relationship as well. But I honestly think if this can make golf a little bit easier for you, if it can help you lower those scores, or even just help you hold more putts like this against your friends, get the banter going, get those matches a little bit closer together, or beat them by more holes, in which case I'm going to do with Mr. Gary Martin later on today. You do start to feel a little bit like you are invincible with this putter and all you really want to start doing is working on your distance control, working on your pace, working on your reads as well. Because if you can start the ball online, which this is generally doing for you, you can get the right pace. As long as you've got the right read, you're going to be there or thereabouts, as you can see when we have a slightly easier putt with the PXG Allen putter. Is this the end of lab putters? Is this starting to make a zero torque putter a little bit more mainstream? Guys, get in the comments below and let us know. PXG are mega proud of this PXG Allen putter. If you're in the market for a new putter to make golf a little bit easier, make sure you go and check it out.